Welcome back. My name is Jessica D. Perez. I'm a plein air painter painting in the open air. Follow me as we adventure out in the field. So welcome back out in the field. Well, here's the thing. Even though we go out in the field to learn everything, sometimes we take those lessons back with us to the studio. As you saw in my last episode, I kind of got frustrated. I lost some control of what I was doing, but I learned a lot of lessons. So I am taking that experience with me here into my studio, and I'm going to tackle the same painting from Portsmouth. I have the video on loop because loop gives me a chance to see the movement of the water. I said was bothering me were my brushes. So having good working tools is key to being able to control or at least have a sense of control of what you're painting. And because my brushes were frayed to a point where the paint wasn't working for me, I went out and purchased a few more. See the difference? Brand new versus a few years old. I got one here that is not as bad. But these have become rough, and this one doesn't even bend anymore and stiff, which creates actual texture and flaws in your brush stroke that are good for some modern art and techniques, but not for what I need. I don't want to completely cover this, so I'm actually gonna do bit of a glaze. Glaze means I can still see the color in a little bit. It's more of a translucent covering. What I'm enjoying about this glaze right now is I still have some of this pretty blue behind it. And using neutral gray on top too much would completely dispel all of that beautiful blue tone that's in the back. Really. Paintings will always have what feels like an ugly stage. And I think it's like that in life, just as it is in painting. There's always going to be a point in your life where things feel impossible, where moments feel too challenging to overcome. And it's not necessarily expertise that gets you there, although expertise always helps. What gets you there is perseverance and consistency. Not giving up, keeping your ground going. Sometimes we will toil over those things, but it's always through that challenging process you'll come out with lessons you didn't think you could learn or you needed to learn. And I believe that this, that this painting is trying to teach you. Yeah. This surface is also smoother than what I usually work with, which can be a part of my lack of success. Just like in real life, with painting, you are allowed to make decisions that completely take you in a different direction. As long as that direction is healthy and safe, you actually have a lot more control than you think. You don't let the paint control you. You don't let life control you. You tell the painting what you're doing. It's not what happens to us. It's how we respond to it. Something outside of your control is always gonna happen, like the weather, the brushes. Anything can happen. It's what you take from it and what you do with that that matters. The tools you use makes all the difference in the success of your painting. The hard part 
part about acrylic is that it dries a little bit duller and darker than when you lay it on. So you might find yourself going over the same area multiple times just to compensate for the fact that you might have put it on too thin.